Okay, so here's my setup. First of all, don't laugh, I'm in my guest bedroom, and yes, my cutting table is my bed, um, but my projector is mounted onto the ceiling, and I do have an extension cord for it, um, a longer power cord, just because I needed it to go further. Um, I've got my cutting mat, and then what I like to do is I have a piece of sheet metal that I got from Home Depot, super cheap, and I just have that up underneath. And the reason I like that is because when it comes to pattern weights, which you can use any of these traditional, I like to use magnets because then I can just pop them down. As far as rotary cutters go, um, I tend to find that this is my favorite for sure. The small gives you a lot of control. Um, when it doesn't have a big area on the outside like this one does, this can sometimes create shadows when you're cutting and get in the way. Um, so I really prefer these, although do not drop this on your foot like I did one time and slice my toe to the bone. So those are the basic tools and then obviously you need your computer. So let's start projecting. Um, if you were using an HDMI cable, then you would select source. Um, I'm going to use AirPlay, so I'm going to do the iOS cast. This one has a nice remote that comes with it that allows you to make your selections. So you don't have to climb up there. So I'm going to select that one. And then on my computer, if I can find it, I'm going to select the AirPlay. And then this one here is my projector. So now... Here is my pattern projected onto my cutting mat. So a couple things about this. Um, once you calibrate, you're going to have a percentage that you're going to enter into your PDF. Um, I have mine written on a piece of tape so I don't forget. But you're just going to enter your zoom and this is going to make sure that your pattern is the right dimension so that a one inch square is actually a one inch square. So another thing is if I needed to rotate this, because right now you can see that it is upside down, I can just go to view, rotate view, and go clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, so now my pattern piece is right side up. Now that's gonna depend on how you mount your projector, whether you're gonna need to do that step or not. And um, I have a photo bomber here. Now a couple other things, when you do get ready to cut, you're gonna wanna go full screen mode. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but say that I am cutting on a dark fabric and you can see that right now all these lines are black. So it's gonna be hard to see. There is an option inside of Adobe Acrobat that's gonna let you change that. So if you go into Acrobat and you choose Preferences, you can say Replace Document Colors. It's underneath Accessibility. And then I have it changing to black and white. So basically the way these files are set up is that anything that is currently black will now be white. It's gonna invert it. So now you can see that it's nice and bright and white. So it's gonna be a lot easier to follow those lines. Each of the patterns also comes with a layer for the different sizes. Um, so I typically cut a size four for my toddler. So I can bring the pattern pieces down to just be that size. The other nice thing about these files is that they come with a calibration grid. So if I needed to calibrate, I can do that. And just to double check, make sure nothing's moved before I do any type of cutting. Um, so I will go into that full screen mode I mentioned earlier. So that will be under view, full screen mode. And it's going to keep my same percentage that I had. But it's just going to um, basically remove all of your nav and everything. So you get the biggest picture you can possibly get. So you can see that I am actually projecting at about 24 by 36. Um, my projector is about 56 inches above my cutting mat. 
if it was higher then this projected image would actually be bigger and that means I would get more of the pattern piece to actually show. Now be careful when you come into full screen mode if you kind of do a pinch and zoom it's going to change your percentage and you're no longer going to have the right size to cut. So to get out of the full screen I'm just going to do an escape and you can just double check your zoom right there before you do any type of cutting. So I do want to point out a couple features of the VLL projector files. So obviously you can see that the lines are nice and bright. Um, I'm in a room in daylight next to a window and I'm still able to see my pattern piece no problem. Nice thick lines. Um, they do have the option that if you have a piece that is cut on the fold it's actually been unfolded so that if you didn't want to cut on the fold and you just wanted a flat piece, so maybe I wanted to fussy cut something and make sure I get it directly you know, on that center line, then it's very easy to cut. Same for mirrored pieces. So with the mirrored piece, they have actually um, done the mirror for you. And then you're gonna see that denoted as a dash one and a dash two. Uh, so if you wanted to cut it flat with a single layer of fabric, then you could just do that and cut this piece and this piece. If you wanted to cut it traditionally, then you could fold the fabric over and then just cut one of these and get that standard mirror. Um, this is more for being able to fussy cut and it, it just really helps to align stripes and plaids and anything else. So you'll also see that with any pieces that have multiples. Um, we heard that a lot of people like to just have a single sheet of fabric that they cut from and they don't want to have to double up and, and try to cut. So that's why you're going to have four different sash pieces. Or you can, you know, double, triple, quadruple up and only cut, you know, one or two. Now, when it comes to these larger pieces, so for example, this skirt is obviously much bigger than my projected area. So I am going to have to cut that one on the fold. And so I'll do that. But let me just show you how easy this is. And then obviously, please iron your fabric. <laughs> this is just an example. So you'll be able to see, say I'm going to cut this piece here. I'm just going to grab my magnets. Um, another thing is all the grain lines are going up and down uh, in the same direction with the exception of some of those pieces cut on the bias. So it makes it very easy to cut with a single sheet of fabric. And then you just get your rotary cutter. Um, make sure you don't lean on this. Um, it will distort it. So you're just going to want to be very careful. Let's see if I can actually do this while I am filming. So you can see that it's not the projector, even though it's over me, is it's not really getting in my way. Let's see. So essentially I'm just gonna move around, get all my pieces cut. And voila, there is my pattern piece.